Hello and welcome back to Factor Y. In our last episode, we talked about what Factor Y is and why it is. And then we started building a couple of big arrays, some of which we're using, some of which we're not. We have a large um, fuel or a large uh, yeah fuel array, I guess here. Although it is backing up, did I did I mess this math up? I don't think I did. Uh, so we have this large uh, fuel energy array here. We also did a large uh, RT1 array, which we're not using most of yet. And then we finally we added in uh, the beginnings of what could become a large chip array if we decide we actually need a large amount of chips. Um, so far we don't, so I'm not uh, building most of it, but um, until we, or as we need it, we'll add more to it. Uh, first thing I want to do today is add another one of these, an exact copy of this basically, but we need to make sure we can fit 13 of these in here first. Uh, one, two, three, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm, yeah, we'll just do it like that, that's fine. And then you can go, not quite, all the way over there. I'll have to do some finagling here, I think. We'll do this belt, and we'll make this belt go this way, I think. Up and around. Yeah, it's gonna have to go up and around. There and there. And then we needed to have, uh, what were we at? Uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. We need two more. If I did one here, this would be a... Um, this would be an 8. We could get away with that. It'd be a 6. I'd rather not. We could do one here. No, I don't want to do it. Well, we could do it there. That's another 8. Um, that takes care of... Actually, that might be enough. 11 times 9 is 99. Plus 2 times 8 is 16. That's 115. And we need actually 2... 56, no. We need, what's the number again? 2304 divided by 20. We need 115, actually, that's good enough. Uh, this needs to go here, like that, then. So that goes onto this belt. And that goes there, 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 there. All of those. And that'll work. And then I'm just going to take this whole thing here, copy it, copy. Smack it down right here like that, and then we'll just do one of these, or we could do a splitter. We could do a splitter instead. F1 and a splitter. Oh, that's right. We had the pri the priority uh, splits now too. We need to make those. Uh, what do those take to make? We'll have to look at that uh, splitter here. Yeah, that's a good place. And then we go this way. Oh, I'm out of I'm out of influence. We'll have to put another influencer down. You and go. Oh, not there. But instead, out here. Right? Yeah. And that one actually doesn't go there. We need one down here. There we go. We are good now. Uh, you all will fuel up. And then we should be... We should be good on this. Yeah, we only need 115.2, and that's 100 and... Wait a minute, 99? That's only 115. It's just slightly too little. We can do this one. Actually, that one's already a 9. That's even better, then. That's fine. We got extra now. That's fine, too. All right, so we, we're, we're good on fuel um, for this array, and we should be good on power up to, what, 10.5K, I think it'll end up being. Uh, as we continue growing there, you can see that... Nice little graphs there. And then let's go look at the arms situation. Although maybe we should look at the belt situation first. Let's look at that those new belts first. Uh, that's these. They take a splitter MK1 and a chip. They need one splitter. And they need chips. Hmm. They need one splitter every 512 each. And the splitters were... I guess I could have looked at that up there, too. Um, they make one every 1024. Interesting. Is 
So I think what we would do with this is have a separate spot where we make the splitters. We have maybe one rod machine going into two splitter machines going into one each going into those, but in a different area because we'll need to bring the uh, chips into that area. So we'll do those separate. Oh, then we need belts for it too. Dang it. I'm going to wait on those because I don't know when I'll even use them. That's probably the best idea. Uh, so let's look at the arms situation. So we just made some quick arms here. I'm gonna, we're going to probably do a little bit um, something with those. A little bit of something with those. Let's put them down here. And then we also will have long arms. And we'll have fast arms. Mark, mark two arms. Oh, and by the way, in order to access the fast arms, you click on this and then you get the choice between mark one and mark two. And same thing will happen, I assume, with the longs, once we get the fast longs, uh, we'll get the same options there. So you need motors, and you need gears and rods. Okay, so that's just iron. Uh, you're going to make one every 512, and that means you need to have two gears and two rods every 512, and I believe the gears and the rods were both 256 for one, right? Yes, and... gears. Yes. And you need gears, gears and rods. And then this one is motors. We didn't look at the motor recipe fully yet. We've looked at it a little bit, but not fully. Let's do that here. And that's gonna be wire and gears, two wire and two gears every 512. Uh, gears are fine then, and wire is two every 512. Perfect, okay. Uh, so you'll need one gear maker, you'll need one gear maker, you'll need one gear maker, one rod maker, and then you'll need one of these, and you'll need one wire maker. How to arrange that. And also to think about, do we want to, um, do we want to have, uh, the ability to make more of the different types of arms in the future? And the answer to that is probably yes. Um... Probably, yes. So in that case, maybe we should do something like this. A module for the uh, for the arms. Alright, so let's do... Let's do assemblers. We need one for gears. And we need one for... Uh, not there. There. One for arms. That way we can expand this later if we want to. Then we need arms uh, going this way, iron in going this way, this way, and then arms out going that way. We'll have our uh, source chest here, and we'll have this one here. We're going to need four iron plate every 512. Uh, let's go, actually, let's go fast ticking, just to let it do the calculation here. I want you to stop at 10, I think. I had to res that resets it. So it means I think we stop this at 20. One arm is, no, 40. Yeah, we stopped this at 40. So we're gonna limit this to 40 then. That stopped and then we get the 10th one out, yes. And then we set our divisor to 10. And then we leave the freaking ticks alone because that calculated a ridiculous number. Um, how did I calculate a 50,000? Well, it's telling me what the current ticks are there. 6020 is what we want. What am I missing? Either way, 6020 is what we want. Now let's reset and just make sure. Bingo. All right, so now we can uh, save that one. Um, I forgot how to do that. Modularize, there we are. Uh, arm MK1. There we are. And then we can go out to the world and we can grab that one from here. And we can put that down wherever we want it. So let's change or let's take this out then. 
Uh, same with you. Over here. You over there, you over there, out of the way. And then we'll do the same kind of thing we did for the belt, for the um, for the arms. We'll need a splitter, we'll say there. Put that belt in, and then we'll run this belt up this way, also. And then we need a module, there. Uh, who's the source again? I always forget, yellow is the source. That'll go here. Did I leave a space? I did not, okay. And we can do there, and there, and maybe I'll do like three of them to start with. Arms, in, 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 and then these will come out here, and then they're gonna turn around and we'll output them into a box. Oops, this way, this way. And then we'll put that box down there. Can go up there, can go up there. That'll go this way. You all will do this. We'll box them up down here into a provider, and I'm going to use the uh, same provider we have here, which is 200. And then we can deactivate this one. Probably out of iron up there, aren't you? Yeah. Delete. There we go. And so those should start, if they haven't already. They have. And then we can make these. So this one's gonna go in line with these. Although maybe not actually, because I'm gonna wanna have gears or rods here and here or something. Let me go out of the way again. Just go one more space here. Let's do uh, rods and Gears. And then I'll move this one up here. And then we can do this, this, and that. We can go this way. And there will be, at some point, um, copper in this area as well. That'll take care of the long arm of the law. Maybe we don't need, we probably don't need 200 of them, but maybe, I don't know, 100? Probably don't even need that many. And then we can work on these. Now, I don't know what other kinds of arms we're going to have. Maybe we could look at the tech tree a little bit, just to see what other types of arms there are. Uh, long twos, we have threes, we have long threes, we have fours and long fours. Uh, right, so it's just regulars and longs then. There's no, like, filters or anything like that to worry about. Any other type? Those are all infinites. We don't need to worry about those. Most of those are infinites. We don't need to worry about those. It looks like that's it. Just uh, two different kinds. And so we may end up with... Um, just go back in there for a second. We may end up with some craziness, uh, depending on what the recipe is for... Long twos and threes. We may end up changing this again, but at least for now, this is fine. So let's do uh, twos. And let's put them... Maybe not in the same box, after all. Uh, you need motors, which needs gears and cables. Uh, maybe I do do the same box, then. Let's do these like this, maybe? You're in my way. And then we can do gears here. And then you need more gears and cables. You could stagger this, I suppose. Put those gears down there, put them there, and then we can do copper cable here. That would work okay. It's a little bit out of or out of the ordinary, but uh, it's not, there's no nothing is ever ordinary. Let's do uh, iron in, iron in, and then we'll have copper in here. You'll go this way. You'll go this way, and you'll go this way one way or the other. Oh, that's fine, I guess. And then you'll need arms in, and then you can go out here. And for right now, I think having 100 of those, too, is probably fine. You'll go this way. Uh, copper can go like this, maybe. Need a crossing right there. 
and then a splitter right there, and then we need a belt right there. We'll let them all get started. All right, so that takes care of, at least I think that takes care of arms and um, and their and their subsequent pieces, at least for now. Um, until this is all stabilized, though, who knows? We're at 10.3. Why are we not at 10.5? The last two down here have not seen any fuel yet. Or at least they haven't seen any fuel long enough. Did I miss something, or is it just still kind of spinning up a little bit? 10.2. Maybe I miscounted. It's possible. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and two eights should be plenty because we only need we need less than thirteen times nine, um, and we have. 12 times 9 plus 8 and 8. So that should be plenty. Mildly confused. But maybe it's just a belt timing issue. Although then I'm not sure why these ended up filling up their belts. Maybe it's because they're on two separate source belts. Maybe I should split these and bring them back together again. Could do that. Uh, delete that for a moment. Copy this one. Like that for a moment. Oh yeah, that's fine. If I did this, because see these are just sitting here waiting to output. If I did this at one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe here. Would that be better? Possibly. If that's the case, then the belts aren't exactly handling that. 20 ticks per um, per space as well as I thought they would be. Let's see if that ends up better. Uh, yeah, we, well, we got down to 10 but or, or so, but that's because I did interrupt it for a moment, so let's see if that ends up better while these guys are going still here. Uh, so we're making three every 256. Mm. Uh, every 602. So we probably need a f another one or two of these because this needs one arm every 512. This needs one arm every 1024. Maybe not then. Uh, actually, that's probably fine. This is just stealing a lot of them, um, which is okay too for right now because we need another 42 in storage. That'll be fine. It'll be fine. It's kind of a priority thing. If, if I if I wanted to equalize this a little bit, I could put a splitter in here and shift this one over by one tile, which would make sure that they only ever saw half of them at most um, until one of the other one backed up and then they would see more or less. Um, that might be a wiser thing to do, but for now, I think it's fine. So now let's take a look at RT2. And I want to put up a few more influencers here. and see what we can do about RT2. Uh, RT2 is here. Takes an RT1 every 512, and these produce an RT1 every 256. Yeah. So already it's a, it's a one to two ratio. Two wire and a belt. Okay. We could take our belt maker and line however many of them we need. That's a possibility. Um, to feed into this. The wire's not so bad because it's two every 512, so that means it's basically like one wire maker. Um, wire is here. Because it makes two every 512 and you need two every 512. The belt we could either do... Well, you need one belt... Every two, every two or five twelve, we could do different too. 
we could do a direct feed system where this is making one belt every 256. So then they could do this like that. And we could have a gear maker here in the middle of the two. There. Um, I think that's to ratio. So let's see, you need one belt every 512. You make one belt every 256. So that means that you can share between two of them. You also need two wire every 512, that's that. And that puts us down to the raw ingredients. Uh, we need the, uh, we need the um, RT1s coming in also. But then we could do uh, one gear every 256, which will go into this, which needs one gear. Yeah, that's kind of a good module. I could actually take this, I think, copy it, put it into a new module, like so. Uh, we'll have to do a little bit of shenanigans here, but we could do this uh, source, just like source. You could go here and here. You're not going to be an iron chest, though. You're going to be an RT1 chest. Uh, you need iron. So then we need... Oh, that's a problem, though. Well, hmm... I would need iron on both sides. That's a problem, potentially. But maybe not. I could be creative with this, right? Right. Iron source. Uh, iron source. And then copper sources. Here and here. Uh, that's these. Copper. There. Should have done one and then copied it. And then you need to have a provider. Here and here for RT, um, RT2. We're gonna limit that to, let's just say 10 of in each, and then we can do the divisors. Um, I wanna put arms in here. Uh, this one, this one, that one, this one, this one, this one and this one, this one to there, this one to there, and I think that'll do it. Then we just gotta do, we gotta reset the thing. I think. Oh, I forgot about the output arms. Output there, output there. So in order to make 10 of these, you need to have 10 of them in. So I should stop this at 10 also. Same with uh, you down here. Um, in order to, in order for you to make enough belts for 10 of these, you need to make 20 belts, because it's 10 each. 20 belts is directly 20 iron. We can knock that down to 20. And that means it's also um, 20 gears, which is 20 iron. So this should also stop at 20. And then you needed one, two wire times 10, which is 20 wire, which means that you need 10 plates here, right? Yes, 10 plates here and 10 plates, oopsie, up here. And now that I've edited all those boxes, this should spit out correctly, I think. I shorted something. Your 10. Oh, this. This put too many in one and not enough in the other. Hmm. You put an extra one up there. That's the problem with the modules. How do you balance that without having twice as many of these? How do you make sure that they do not over... That they alternate or... That one, yeah, see that one went crazy. And this one's not going as crazy. They're not, they're not trading or swapping. They're being inefficient. And then we end up in the same place because you got too many. You're sitting there with one belt in your inventory and you're sitting here waiting for one belt in your inventory. So I don't like that because of that reason. So we're just going to trash this one. Goodbye. Oh, that got me back to this. Weird. And how do I get back to the other ones? 
I don't know. So we're just going to go with a, a world surface array here. Uh, delete that, and we're going to move it slightly. I'm going to do, and that, if that's the case, maybe I could do this a little bit differently again. Let's see, I want to have room for two belts. So I want to have a belt of RT1s coming in and a belt of RT2s coming out. Although, I don't know still if they need to go into the same labs or they can go into different labs. That is something that I don't yet know. In which case, maybe then I want to turn this around. So that it's like this. Still need two belts on this in input, though. This will be an uh, iron belt and a copper belt. Uh, we'll do copper first here. And then iron here. Because we're going to chain these together. We're going to have a few of them lined up next to each other. Um, I could move... Yeah, let's do this. Let's, let's stagger this offset a little bit. And then that'll let me do a uh, iron input here and here. This one going across another belt here like this. Which means that we need to have a mixer here and a mixer there. Um, that will, or a swapper, sorry, a swapper. That will swap what's in each each column here that way. So that we have iron here and then copper here and here. Uh, on this side we have RT1 coming in. And we have RT2 coming out. And we'll do crossings for those. Here and here. I'm just going to do this so that, as if it were continuing along, because it will be. Uh, you'll need copper, so will you. You'll pass it through, of course. You can pass your gears across this way. Uh, maybe that way. Yeah, that way. And then you can do this, and this will be fine if it's uneven, because they'll just stop demanding things. You'll be an input. Uh, you'll be an input. You'll be an output. You'll be an output. I think that's correct. Now i got to get iron and copper here. Um, we do have, we don't have iron because I dedicated the iron into a direct insert here, um, which is a problem. So we could smelt some iron and copper to direct for this. Uh, we need one, two copper every 512 and one, two copper every 256. So that's two or two iron every 256, one, one copper every 256. That's not very much at all. Per, per one of these, per, per array, that is, of course. Um, we could come down here, I guess, and just smelt some more. I could steal it from the bus, too, but I don't think I want to at this point. Um, let's do this and that, and this and that, and this and that. Let's do a couple more smelting arrays here. Shorter ones than we have done. Um... Coal in from one side, copper and iron in from the other, outputs on the... I guess we could do... Uh, not that one. Maybe this one? Yeah, let's copy this one, but we need to flip it. Yeah, we need to flip it. Do I have another array that I like better? Not really, because this one's backwards... This one will be okay. I'll just copy this and not that belt. Let's do a shorter array here. Maybe only half length. Maybe like six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. This will be for the iron for now. I'll leave the space and I got too many. It's fine. Copy. Um, iron array can be like this. You will there. Oopsie. One more influencer here. I could move that up somewhere, I guess. Two. Delete. Move it up. Maybe to there. And we do another one here. I'm going to leave one space there. Well, in that case, let's go... Let's go like this. And then like this. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, yeah, delete that one because it's not complete anyway. I'm gonna do like four. Well, I guess I need to do half. Let's do four there and um, eight here. Oops, changed my mind. So we need to have four and eight respectively uh, miners. Uh, miners. And then I'll get uh, a dozen of them over there. One here. That one can go that way. One, two, three, four, five. Some space. Three spaces, I guess. Six, seven, eight. For now. And then we need four of these. One, two, three. Four. You'll go like this. You'll go like this. Actually, I don't need to go that far. You can come this way. We'll do a mixer here. Or I could do a merger. Let's just do a merger. I haven't done any mergers yet. Uh, that'll go... Wait, that's the... That is the merger. Huh? Oh, right there. This will do like this. And then that'll go up. Uh, this one here will go like this. The end. But there. And then this can come across. Sure, right there. And we'll do another merger right there. And then you can go up as well. Up, up, up. This will come into here. And we'll do a crossing right there. For the plates to come out. We'll do the same, but up here by... That'll be fine. We'll do a crossing there, too. For the uh, copper. This will be the plates coming out there. For the copper. And iron. Copper and iron. Ooh, look at that. Uh, we probably aren't going to need this stone either, so let's bring these closer together. To where they can be... Yeah, that's what I wanted. There. There. And then we need to have some fuel. Uh, a batch of 12 and a batch of 8. That's not what I wanted either. Those are influencers, not miners. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Or, sorry, a batch of 4 and a batch of 8. Uh, and then we can maybe do... Hmm... One, two, three, four. Belt, you'll come out uh, up, rather, to meet with these ones. I'll go to the edge of the patch just to be safe. Actually, you could come back down again. It'll be okay, too. I'm out of belts. I'm out of belts. As long as you all are still making plenty, let's um upgrade this to a Mark II zoomies. So these will swing in 64 as opposed to 128, so they're twice as fast. And that's 64 per uh, direction. So 128 total spin, whereas this is 256 total spin. Alright, so you're the 12, you're going into this, or the 8... I keep saying 12. You're the 8, you're going into this one. We'll take it down, maybe, and then across like this. Um, out of stuff again. And then we can do some of these, and they'll come down and across into here. Ouch. It's been faster. <laughs> Alright, we're going to need more than 200 belts in that box then. Uh, let's increase that number. 400. Arms are probably still perfectly fine at 200 because we need a lot more belts than we need arms. You'll go in there. And then you're going to go here, which means you need crossings there and there. Hey, I think I'm done. Arms. Oh, that's backwards. And 
then down here, and then up here. Okay. <laughs> and then I want to change this somewhat, slightly, um, and put in a belt that goes this way. Split there. Uh, eventually. These need crossings here. Um, here's some. Here and here. And then those will go straight into that. And then the RT2 is going to come out here like this. And I'm going to try to put it in its own laps. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to try. Uh, we're going to go right there because that's where the influencer is. You'll go there, just a couple of labs, and then we'll go up this way. And then we'll do this. We're waiting still for plates. Assuming I did everything correctly, we got some iron smelting here, I see that. Here comes the copper, good. Assuming I did everything correctly, which, uh, don't hold your breath. We should get some of this stuff out of here. Uh, let me do this. I'm gonna clear this belt out. Best way to clear it out is to go this way with it. And I want to splitter. That I have one nearby. Splitter right here. Still take those into there. We're going to have to activate some of these that we don't have activated yet. But until I make sure this is working properly, oh, you're going to back up before you get any. That's less good. Oh, no, you got some. Okay, it's producing more than you can swing, so that's that's right. Okay, and here comes the copper now. Belt's lit up. You've got everything you need but the wire, and you didn't get your second belt, or your, your belt yet, because this one stole them all. <laughs> that's okay. There we go. You're good to go, and you are going. Good. There's our first RT2, and I want to see... Uh, let's go into the, the menu here, and what do we want? Next belts, next miners, next smelters. Plugins. Improve structures by letting them only accept specific items. Hmm. Let's go with belts, I guess. And that's going to need uh, RT1 and RT2. We already see the RT1s activating, so it, it, they do indeed. Ca they can indeed go into other um, other areas. They don't have to stay in, or they don't have to go into the same labs. They can go into whatever labs you want. These still have a 1,000 cooldown. There they are. They're ticking away. So we need to have more labs here because we need to produce. We need to go through a thousand. Science 1, and the time we need to go through 20 Science 2. And we're going to see that in a lot of these things, too. They're not even. Uh, 2,000 and 200, um, 50 and five, or 550, respectively. 5,000 and 1,000. That'll be a little while. Uh, this one is RT2 only at 100. And this one here is uh, 2,000 and 125. So I do want to have more labs here. And I, of course, I see that there's an influencer in the middle of this. But that's okay. We'll just do this. And then we'll do this. Oh, we're at ten and a half right now. Almost completely stable. Almost. Almost. And then we can probably just reactivate all of this, just because I don't feel like doing the math on it. But power those back on again. And also fix that belt. It's missing here. Did we get the iron ore up into that? And there we go. So we don't need a whole lot of these right away, which is why I only made one of them. And doing the module might not have been worth it for that reason, too. But um, 
We can always add more as we need some more of the RT2. But for right now, for the things we're doing, we need more, a lot more RT1s. So uh, adding these would be more advantageous anyway. Uh, maybe even another set. Copy. Uh, into there. Good, it fits. Oops, except that I screwed that up. Copy again. To there. And there. So we did the quick math. One of these needs uh, one RT1 or B512. So two of the, one of these supplies enough for both of these. And then these are at a ratio of like almost four to one. One of these provides for four labs. So we have plenty of um, plenty of RT1 here also. This is now four, eight, 16, 12, 24 labs here. So that's six of these machines. Um, and then it's um, another one. So it's really just seven of the 13, 12.8 we have here, which is which is fine. And it's not even that many because one of these is just slightly, no, it's just slightly too slow for four of these. Yeah, just slightly too slow for four of these. So it's a little bit more than that, but it's, it's still going to be 7 point whatever, not 13.8. So if we have two of these, and they're producing one every 256 together, that means we can basically handle four labs. So I'm going to take this and copy that. I hit the wrong button again. Control C, there we go, and go there. And we'll just have four of these going just for reasons. These aren't all going yet. Is that just because these haven't all spun up yet fully? Yeah, we're still waiting to get all the iron all the way through to the end here. That's the problem with that. I guess I could have just done a merger here too. I don't know if that helps really or not. It just seems like they're not... Although this one's only going to run 80% of the time. That's actually supposed to be. So that's fine. Because it's 12.8. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. And I think that's actually probably a good place to end for today too. Yes, we already got RT2s completely done. Those will just back up. These will back up and push back on this. And then these will continue getting all the things, although they're backed up pretty well, too. Because, again, we only need, like, half of this. Um, so, uh, we're going to leave this here for today. I hope this was um, hope this was good, good entertainment, enjoyable. Um, we should probably uh, look at what comes next. Um, obviously, what will come next partially will be Belts Mark II. Um, but if there's anything else that I didn't make... Uh, let me know in the comments or the chat or whatever. But I think we've pretty much made everything we have unlocked right now. It's just now, except for the, uh, the overflow and underflow splitters. And then we could make those at some point. But until I feel like I have a reason to have those, I think I'm just going to wait. Um, although maybe not. Maybe I should just make them just to have them made. Uh, you have all of them? All of them. So, yeah, these are now getting made up here in complete and in full. Um... And that'll be... Yeah, they're backing up a little bit there, too. So, good. All right, so we'll leave this here. And in the next episode, we will uh, figure out what comes next. Keep keep, keep working on these things and getting our next bit of science uh, unlocked as we build... And then build more things as we have the science unlocked. So, thank you all for joining me. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.